All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. And today we're at Epcot, and mm -hmm. what we're going to do today is try to ride as, as many, many rides. rides as we can today. That's right. It's a Friday, so let's yep. go see how many rides we can ride. And they close at nine today. We don't know if we're standing that long, but let's see how many we can ride. Yep, let's go. Oh, look, Spaceship Earth. What a beautiful sight. Oh, I guess the first ride is going to be Spaceship Earth. Spaceship Earth. Let's go. Five minutes standby at Spaceship Earth. Standby for journey into imagination and sky is <laughs> Virtual things are closed. The kids used to step on things there. That's closed. And the little instruments are closed. It's so quiet in here. It used to be very hustling and bustling. I don't even remember going in the no. link. Yeah. We never even went in that. Right. We're going to go check out what the wait times are for the lands and Soren. What time is it? 2.57. So 2.57. Let's see what the lines are like. 10 minutes standby at Living with the Lands. Looks like we're going to have this next boat to ourselves. And you can see the partitions in between every row. Can eat them flowers. The tropics are home to the greatest yeah. diversity of plants. Edible flowers. 
Many of these, like papaya, bananas, cacao, coffee and rice, are well known around the world. These are just a few of the edible plants that have been an important source of nutrition for people living in the tropics. Many are rich in vitamins and minerals, while others are well adapted to growing in less than ideal conditions. Some, like the water lawn, thrive in wet, swampy areas of waterways. All parts of this plant, even the flower petals, are edible. The starchy root of the plant has long been used to make flour for baking. One day, many of these lesser-known tropical plants may be as important as the bananas growing on both sides of the boat. More than 28 million tons of bananas are eaten annually, making it the most popular fruit in the world.
on behalf of Walt Disney World. We hope you've enjoyed this evening. And they're cleaning them off. Looks like they're doing a good job at spraying them down. Looks like it says that Soren is only a 10 minute standby. Let's see if this is true. What time is it right now? It is 3.21. No, it's 3.22. 3.22 right now. And behind us, not too many people either. Yeah. <laughs> 3.33. They're only one minute off. Not too many people. Yeah. In a row. Yeah. yeah. Ten minutes standby for the seas with Nemo. Let's ride it. So this is pretty much a walk on. We haven't stopped not one time, and now we're just gonna get right on the ride. <laughs> Two manatees. Manatees are not fish, they're mammals, so they do breathe air at the top of the water. And they eat a lot of food, a hundred pounds of food a day. So basically they're just chewing because they only eat plant material. <laughs> I should have started with that, they're so cute. to spin. Yeah. Okay, here we are at test track and it is a 40 minute wait. So, let's go check it out. That's a fun ride. 
I like it. How's my hair? Wow. Design too. Hair, new hair new. Displaying power test results. Sim track performance testing complete. Scott said that's going to be our new car. This is what we're going to tow behind the RV. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One day with the neons and everything, it looks awesome. Yeah, they need orange neons though. Well, I'm sure to switch to it. How do I look like? Let me see. Wow, it looks like you belong to it. Mission space. Five minutes standby for the green and only 20 minutes for the orange. And the difference is the orange is the more intense side. Green is the least of the intense side. That's me, the green side. I'm the orange side. <laughs> no. I am. I know, but I'm the orange side, so you got to ride with me. No way. I'm not going on the orange. That would destroy me the rest of the day. <laughs> green for me. Orange for me. All right, we just got out of the deep briefing and Jolly chickened out. What? Yep. You went for the green. <laughs> you went for the green. You didn't went, go for the I went, orange. I went for the green for you so you wouldn't be Aww. sick the rest of the day. Hey, we did forget to tell you guys when we went on the uh, test track. What? That it was a 40 40 minute, minute standby. Flight. Yeah. It because said 40. Yeah, they had it shut down because of the cleaning. They were cleaning all the cars. Yeah. So five o'clock every day, I guess, is when they clean the rides. Yeah, it still wasn't bad. We got on and that, around that time and got off. So, yeah. So it was supposed to be a 40 minute wait. Even with the cleaning, it was only a 45 minute wait. And also mission space, that was pretty much a walk on. Yeah. So it was pretty close to five minutes. Yeah, pretty good. So what's next, Jolly? Wanna Let's try go. Mexico? Let's try Mexico. Let's go. Grand Fiesta Tour is next. Thank you. How neat these carvings are. All hand made and hand painted. Ooh, I like that bat. Bypass Frozen, 70 minute standby. 
but it is only 639 and the park doesn't close till 9 so technically we could do it yep but we're we gonna head it. home but we still got to catch the skyliner the skyliner back and then head out of here so yeah we, we could have do done it, it. we could yeah. definitely do it for sure all right so the line for frozen wraps all the way from the entrance of frozen back there all the way around wraps all the way past where the old smoking area was all the way back to china right there is the line line starts there so you can see pretty decent weight i just noticed this i don't know how long ago they did this by the first aid right before the mexico pavilion but this used to be flamingos a long time ago now they filled it in with grass and shrubbery is that the sky nope it's the water